Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. If you are returning and you are already to subscribe to my channel, make sure that you turn that notification bell on. If you are not subscribed yet, please go ahead and click subscribe if you like this type of content. I appreciate you guys listening in and thank you so much for your support. So yesterday documents were retrieved from um, of the United States response to Josh Duggar's motion. Just to summarize the nine page document, they're basically explaining the reason for the motion and why some of the requests were denied. I found out that Josh's team is claiming that he was only provided a picture of the evidence but not the actual evidence itself. He does not disclose the format of the screenshot or did he tell them the format that he prefers. So with that being said, the request was denied. However, the time, date, and name of the person who captured the screenshot was granted. All reports, downloads, logs were unrelated to the case, so were therefore denied as well. The conclusion was the motion is a part granted and part denied. I'm gonna attach these documents in the description so you can take a look for yourself. I'll inform you that some of the details and the document can be a little bit spacey and filled with lots of law terminology, but most of it is very clear and you'll be able to understand 90% of it. All in a nutshell, like I said, in one of the other videos I did when the motion first came out, the defense is basically fishing for something that is unrelated to the case and is not there. All the evidence has already been given to their team and what they are requesting is unrelated and will not be used in court. FYI, I am nowhere near an attorney. However, I do reach out to um, friends that I know that are in law to better explain what's happening. And I do read a lot and see the comments of people that have affiliates of lawmakers and forensic evidence uh, experts. So I get a lot of information, which that helps a lot. I read that cases like this that are involved with the feds have a 95% conviction rate. You better believe that the time, time stamps, passwords, and forensic evidence will be used against Josh and there is no technicalities that can stop that. So with that being said, you guys, um, take a look at the documents yourself on your own and I do appreciate you guys listening in. Once I have some more information on the case, I will make sure I upload as soon as I get it. Thank you for listening, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.